In a groundbreaking move during Balakaden 2025, the U.S. Army conducted its inaugural live fire demonstration of the indirect fire protection capability, high powered microwave, IFPCHPM, system in the Indo Pacific region. The test occurred at Naval Station Leo Vigildo Gantioqui in Zambales, Philippines, marking a pivotal step in bringing cutting edge directed energy weapons into operational settings, particularly in humid, coastal conditions. The system, designed to disable small unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, using bursts of electromagnetic energy, is part of a broader U.S. strategy to develop nonkinetic defenses against the increasing threat of drone swarms. During the exercise, the IFPCHPM was deployed by the Army's first multi-domain task force, 1MDTF, a specialized unit known for blending cyber, electronic warfare, and long-range fires into a cohesive tactical force. In a first-of-its kind configuration, the U.S. Army linked the IFPCHPM with the fixed site low, slow, small unmanned aerial system integrated defeat system, FSLIDS. This pairing created a layered air defense shield, FSLIDS handled detection and tracking of aerial threats, while the microwave system served as the primary neutralizer. The integration provided a rapid, cost-efficient response to multiple UAV incursions without the need for traditional, often expensive, missile intercepts. The joint trial featured support from the Philippine Air Force's 960th Air and Missile Defense Group and the U.S. Marine Corps' 3rd Littoral Anti-Air Battalion, which added further capability through the Marine Air Defense Integrated System, MIDES. The cooperative setup simulated a comprehensive air and missile defense operation, reflective of the U.S. military's increasing focus on interoperability with regional allies. Captain Bray McCullum of the 1st Battalion, 51st Air Defense Artillery Regiment highlighted the success of the deployment, stating that the HPM system performed effectively under the region's environmental challenges. This validates the U.S. Army's confidence in deploying advanced nonkinetic technologies in real-world theaters. Developed by defense tech firm Epirus, the IFPCHPM is one of three directed energy solutions being integrated into the Army's multi-tiered air defense initiative. Unlike conventional weapons, this system projects concentrated microwave energy to disable electronics in multiple drones at once, offering a scalable solution to large-scale UAV attacks. Its non-lethal, rapid-fire nature and low per engagement cost make it ideal for countering swarming tactics. The Philippines was chosen for this landmark test due to its strategic location near contested waters in the South China Sea. With Chinese drone activities intensifying in the region, showcasing an operational HPM system here sends a strong message, the U.S. is ready and equipped to counter emerging electronic and aerial threats, especially in volatile zones. In February 2024, the 1MDTF became the first unit to receive and field the system, embarking on a series of trials in different combat conditions. Balakaden 2025 marked the first operational test in a tropical maritime environment and will provide critical performance data for the Army's Rapid Capabilities and Critical Technologies Office, RCCTO. Insights gained will refine tactics and influence future developments in the directed energy arsenal. The exercise also featured a bilateral knowledge-sharing component. Members of the Armed Forces of the Philippines participated in a subject matter expert exchange, gaining hands-on exposure to next-gen technologies. This initiative aims to enhance joint readiness and fortify allied capabilities in the face of modern battlefield threats. Balakaden 2025, named after the Filipino phrase for, shoulder-to-shoulder, -shoulder, continues to evolve into a high-tech proving ground. With thousands of troops, platforms, and advanced systems participating, this year's drills have placed a spotlight on integrated missile and air defense, setting the stage for the weapons and strategies of tomorrow's conflicts.